Hello and welcome to the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. I'm Jane King. With me today, Dev Shetty, the President and CEO of Fura Gems. And you have brought some lovely things with you today. Let's talk about these in just a second. Sure. Uh, but it's all exciting. Yeah. It is. <laughs> beautiful. So let, just start with the company. Just kind of give me an overall look at what Fura Gems is all about. So Fura Gems is a color gemstone mining and marketing company. Uh, we have an operating mine in Colombia and we have a ruby exploration licenses in Mozambique. Uh, we mine and we market. Uh, we mine rough and we sell rough gemstones. We are not a vertically integrated business. We don't cut and polish. Okay. So, but the most important element of our business that we create the whole ethical leg to the market. Uh, the whole ethical route to the market is very important element in our business. It's purely because we want to give the consumer, the brands, the retailer, the confidence right from the mine the, when the gems comes to it goes to the neck of the woman. It's all been audited and it's all conflict free okay. and complete disclosure and transparency is there. And consumers are wanting that now. That's been an increasing issue over the past few years that they're wanting to make sure that the stones they have are mined in an ethical way. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's quite an important element. And as I said, disclosure and uh, transparency is the important element of business. And that's what we specialize in. Um, I have in my life built two of the world's largest uh, color gemstone mine. Uh, an emerald mine in Zambia and a ruby mine in Mozambique. And, and the way we always do is we tell everything. Uh, and, and when you tell everything, it gives a lot of confidence to the client. Okay. Now, before we get to this, I just want to ask, is that how blockchain then, how you're implementing blockchain into your business? Is this way a consumer can trust the chain where it was mined until it ends up on their hand or neck or whatever? Yeah, blockchain is one of the okay. tools that we are going to use. Uh, but we are going to do blockchain plus. Um, and blockchain is le definitely is a new thing, um, and, and it does give a lot of assurance to the client, uh, but for us, it has to be blockchain plus, uh, where we actually tell the client the treatment process, if it has gone through, what kind of treatment. If you're paying a dollar, you need to know what the dollar is going towards. I see, okay, so we are looking at some beautiful emeralds, and I guess, would you call these rough cut? This is rough. Okay. This has not been cut. So tell me about this. Where did they come from? How do you find them? And what is that whole process like? Oh, excellent. Uh, so this is the mine that we acquired in Jan 2018. Okay. Earlier this year, just like four months old. Uh, and an this icon is where? In Colombia. In Colombia, okay. In Colombia. Um, Colombia, so that you know, 50% of world emerald in value comes from Colombia. Interesting. So it's okay. by far the number one uh, supplier of uh, emerald in the world. And we are the first listed company to land ourselves in Colombia, in spite of having 500 years of history of mining and selling. Um, so what we are going to do, we are going to build everything right from the sites. Uh, we are going to sell in a very systematic fashion, and we are going to market the product uh, to the end consumer. So we are going to do everything. Uh, so the process is, uh, as we have bought the mine, uh, the first phase is we are developing the geology, the science behind it. Uh, so we have started bulk sampling. We have hired 240 employees uh, on the ground now. Um, and the second phase is we are, we are drilling on the ground. So this, this product, is, and this is fascinating. You, know, you, you don't get ever in your lifetime. In four weeks of mining, we got this product. This is some of the few products uh -huh. that we have managed is to Is Columbia get. relatively untouched in terms of mining for colored gems? It's, it's not been explored. I believe they have not even explored in spite of selling for the last 500 years 10% mm -hmm. of the resource. Uh -huh. uh, it's quite rich and that's where the opportunity lies, uh, especially for people like us who have got a very good experience in this sector uh, we know how to mine and how to sell it in a systemic fashion. Now, just to give you, put into perspective, these are some of the top quality stones. Mm -hmm. But this is a beautiful, beautiful stone, uh, emerald, that could sell in auction houses. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that would, a buyer would be a jeweler or a retailer that would buy? We sell in a B2B segment. So we sell through the polishers and we sell to the manufacturer of jewelry. I see. Um, and they would onward sell to the, to the retailers and to the uh, brands and re uh, so on and so forth. Uh, and something like this uh, would basically go into an auction houses. So this is, we named as the array emeralds, uh, 26 carat uh, emeralds. Uh, and the good thing of Costco's Emerald Mine that we have bought, it's an, quite an iconic mine. There's a lot of literature behind this mine. Uh, so you get this, which is a bonus, mm -hmm. but you get this, and then, then you get a lot of low quality and you got a lot of medium quality. So we are able to produce this mm -hmm. consistent supply from top, medium, and high quality. And in this market, when you supply consistently, that does a lot of confidence that the client gets. Sure. How much would something like this go at auction, would you say? 
Okay, this is this is a secret. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but 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 I can tell with your confidence that this is six digit in million. You know. Okay. So, okay. Um, this this is what uh, this this stone would do. Okay. Um, now you mentioned Colombia. So I know like in the 80s it was you know a country that had a lot of violence. But I know from some people that are in emerging markets that Colombia is is really an up and coming economy. But people still kind of have that old stereotype. So. How would you describe the current environmental and political situation in Colombia? Beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, I've been to Colombia like more than 30 times in my last four years. Um, it's, it's a great country. Um, the country is going through the transition with the peace deal. Um, where we are in, you know, it's, 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 it's a very calm, a quite calm country. Uh, we see, see no issue per se from, from that perspective. Uh, this mine uh, has got a lot of uh, legacy factor, um, the one which we acquired, the Costco Emerald Mine. Uh, 300 years of history of mining, but till 1970s, it used to sell 90% of Colombian emeralds. So it, it's quite an iconic mine, but it, it also had the same challenge in 70s to in 80s during the Green War, the mine literally went down south. Okay. But for last 15, 20 years, it's, it's, it's been all peace, it's been all calm, uh, and that gives a lot of confidence for a listed company like us that we can audit right from the front that everything is conflict free and we are supplying things as a conflict free. So, sure. so it's beautiful. We don't see any security issue. It's a new Colombia for us mm -hmm. and, and, and we are enjoying our time. Okay. And finally, how can someone find out more about your company? Uh, we are listed in Toronto Stock Exchange, okay. uh, so we publish everything. Okay. Um, and, and we have a website. We, get, we have a website hmm. called www.furagems.com, okay. um, and we publish everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Deb, for coming and bringing these beautiful stones. Thank so you very much for having me. Some lucky person will have those someday. Thank <laughs> Absolutely. You. Thank you. And thank you as well for joining us. I'm Jane King at the Nasdaq Market Site. Have a great day.